at it again? Come on now. Watch the footwork. Keep your balance. Hey, watch it! Little blood to clear the air. Hope you have the stomach for it, outsider. None of our business. There's no honor to be had in the squabbling of the arms. Ask any fool around here and get a different answer. Mercenaries, warriors of honor, brothers and sisters of the blade, drunken rabble. Take your pick. I've been here longer than most of them. Even I don't know sometimes. I just hope we don't kill each other. I learned the ways of the blade in the Great War. Nearly lost my life outside the Imperial City. I came home to Skyrim when it was all over. I wasn't much good at anything other than fighting. Wandered around as a blade for hire. It was a damned good one, too. The money was good, and the women were good, and the drinks were good. But I was losing myself and my heart. I was lucky the companions found me. Now there's a reason to be fighting. The honor of my brothers and sisters is worth more than coin. Of course the money is still good. And the drinks. So you think you have what it takes? <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm not the one who makes that decision. Talk to Codlock. Who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. Watch the blades. Do your worst. Get in there. Good fight going here. And we've done as much as we can to prepare for that. But remember, White Run is home to the companions. Any dragon that comes here will get more to be sparkling. To hear Vignar tell it, or to lay about some useless miners who used to know how to fight. But he thinks everything used to be better. I, for one, would trust any companion of my life. Oh, I'm not a companion myself. I just help Vignor. He took me in when I was having a tough time, and I've got a well, I owe it. Would you take a look at it? Farewell, I'm a sir. warrior, not a blacksmith. Can't you just tell me if the grip is bad? If Aorland made it, it's more likely you're gripping it wrong. Find me tomorrow and we can go over it. Yes? You don't just waddle in here and get to speak to the boss. Who do you think you are? If you want to embarrass yourself, I won't stop you. Codlack is the harbinger. He's the closest thing you'll find to a leader around here. Are you looking to join? I wouldn't get your hopes up. The short answer is, we fight. The long answer is, uh, forget it. You're not worth my time. So I wouldn't have to answer stupid questions from idiots. Until next time. We Grey Maids have been feuding with the Battleborns for years. There's no more bitter enemy than an old friend. Oh, we've got an old saying. The Grey Manes have lived in Whiterun since the first snows fell in Skyrim. Well, maybe that's not entirely true. But our clan's got a long and proud history in this old. We respect the old ways, the Nord ways. And the Grey Mane has worked the Skyforge since before the time of grandfather's father. Aye, they're an old clan like ours. But they cast their lot with the Empire when the uprising began. Ulfred Battleborn made his money from farming and got himself some new friends among the Empire's nobles. Now he's in the Emperor's pocket like the rest of them, with no regard for honor and tradition. I, we used to be fast friends, though it was long ago. We were two of the city's oldest and most respected clans, and we could trace our histories all the way back to East Grimoire's companions. But then Olford got rich, and decided he and his kin were too good for us simple, backwards Nord folk. When the troubles began, he took the Empire's side. We haven't spoken much since then. No, oh, they used to be something. Nowadays, they just squabble amongst themselves. Take my advice and keep away. You look too smart to get caught up with this bunch. Well, when you get to be my age, you don't remember why you did much of anything. Only that it happened. 
Servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. But I still hear the call of the plot. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. A stranger comes to our hall. Politics are something best avoided. I prefer more personal confrontations myself. Your question carries more weight than you may know, newcomer. The sort of thing some of us spend our lives pondering. The difference between a noble band of warriors and a ragged bunch of assassins is as thin as a blade's edge. I try to hold us to the right path. Like most of our band, I found this family after losing my own. I traveled the length and breadth of this land, learning all I could of the sword and the axe. I was just a boy, but I had the fire of a man in my heart. Eventually, my body caught up to my spirit. My predecessor, Asgar, found me in Hammerfell. I was serving as a bodyguard for some weak-necked lord out there. He brought me back here, and I realized I was actually coming home. I worked to bring honor to this family and to the family that I lost. For my mother, my father, and my grandfather. For all my S.H.I.E.L.D. siblings. Family and honor. That's what it means to be one of us, boy. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your Vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. You might Of course. Well. How are you in battle, boy? Tiny place that may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. I... Well, when you put it that way. The old man said to have a look at you, so let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. Never should have come here. Ah! Ah! Pretty good arm you have there. Not that. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. What is it now? There are always good reasons to fight. I just wish this war had them. Who cares who worships what dead god? Give me something to make me draw my sword. 
You'll hear some of the brighter faces around here talk about honor and glory. I've got nothing against it, but for me, the promise of coin is what keeps my brain. Wherever someone in Skyrim doesn't feel up to defending their own honor, we'll take up their burden. To hear Farkas tell it, our father raised us here as happy pups, running around, biting knees. I love my brother, but his brains are not his strong suit. We were brought here by Jürgen. Whether he was our father or not, I don't care. He left to fight in the Great War and never came back. So he's not my problem anymore. We've been here as long as either of us can remember, though. So try to show some respect. Aye. What brings you here? I'm guessing you're the newcomer, then. Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the Harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own, every woman her own. Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, and I'm honored to serve them. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge, best steel in all of Skyrim, all of Tamriel. I have a favor to ask. I've been working on a shield for Aella. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aella for me. That's a good man. Hmm? The Skyforge? Aye, my clan fathers have worked it since the first Grey Mains came to Whiterun. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use, for good reason. You blind, boy? I'm a blacksmith. Any halfwit could see that. By Izmir's beard, I ain't one for humor. You know who the companions are, so quit your asking. Why? Who says I have to be? Skyforge Steel is my art and honor. The companions need the best, so they come to me. Mm-hmm. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Kodlak says not to worry about it. I worry that a bunch of snowberries are out there earning glory while we stay out of it. But I will follow the old man's lead, as ever. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. My mother was a companion, and her mother, and all the women in my family back to Harati Blackblade. I stayed with my father in the woods until I was old enough for my trial. We hunted everything there was to hunt. Good training. Ma didn't live long enough to see me join, but I fight to honor her and all my S.H.I.E.L.D. sisters through time. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Good to see you made it up here. You know this one? I saw him training in the yard with Vilkis. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite the thrashing. Don't let Vilkis catch you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? Ah, a man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas. 
call me. Of course we did, Icebrain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, I remember you. Come on, follow me. Skior and Ayala like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. I hope we keep you. Oh, I'm this just can be a rough idea. life. You want to talk to one the of the companions, I'm sure. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Tilma will keep the place clean. She always has. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. I've been tending to the warriors. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've gotten a letter about someone needing some muscle right here at Whiterun Hold. I don't know what the fight is about, and that's not our business anyway. I just need you to go out there, look tough, and scare this milk drinker into submission. No more than that. I don't want to hear about a killing, understand? Try not to get carried away. By the way, if you're looking for something to do... I see everything here. The latest here. recruit, right? Wait, is that right? It means when I have troubles, I always have someone on my side. We have shield siblings to keep our backs as dangerous as our fronts. I think. A man of my station has many debts. I'm not much use of labor or learning, but I can throw a punch with the best of them. The companions let me fight for gold, so I fight. Yeah, yeah. I avoid going to East March if I can. Something in the air. I think it's just too close to the border. It means signing on for the Nord ideas of how to live your life. Honor, battle, glory, all that. Even an elf can be born with the heart of a Nord, Skior said when I joined. I think you meant it as a compliment. To me, it means not having to answer foolish questions a second time. Fortune and glory, friend. Fortune and glory. Until next time. Might head down to the meadery later. I'm still trying to figure out why Skior let you in in the first place. Just because you've been accepted here so quickly, don't think I'm gonna help you rise any faster. Fight well, don't be a lout, and you'll be fine. You don't need my help. All right, then. I was the newest companion until you came along. I guess that's okay. Just means I can show you the ropes. So much. This group, this family, this band. This is the best thing I've ever been a part of. The oldest fighting group in Skyrim, and nothing but glory from East Grimoire's day to our own. To be counted in that line is a bit of immortality. Even if I never see Sovngarde, I'll have that much. Are you kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Kodlak and Skior fighting off the 101 Orc Berserkers? Skior says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. Until next time. Huh? You still need to prove yourself, Well, Ah, hello, my Nord friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Yes, I hear that question often. 
My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my... well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Try Holder, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mare. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. You can't scare me into submission. Let's go! Come on, let's see what you're made of. You're tougher than you look. You got me, fair and square. Fine, I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. Some people don't think I'm smart. Those people get my fist. But you, I like. Too confusing for me. Empire, Nords, Talos, who cares? Just tell me who needs bludgeoning. I've never been a smart one, but the companions welcome anyone with the heart of a warrior. When we step into battle, we fight for our own name and the name of the companions. Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father, Jürgen, raised us here. Even Vigner couldn't remember companions younger than us. You seem to have a knack for this kind of thing. I'll make sure people in charge know. Skior was looking for you earlier. Don't know. He just said he needed to talk to you before you do anything else. I don't like making him angry. But there is some work for you if you want it. Ah, there you are. There you are. I wish more of our ranks asked such questions. I've started seeing the companions as a kind of family. I've battled next to every man and woman here, and the bonds of sweat are stronger than those of blood. I would trust anyone here with my life. Which is more than I'd say for the milk drinkers who raised me. I did. Your time, it seems, has come. Last week, a scholar came to us. He said he knew where we could find another fragment of Wulthrad. He seemed a fool to me, but if he's right, the honor of the companions demands that we seek it out. This is a simple errand, but the time is right for it to be your trial. Carry yourself with honor, and you'll become a true companion. Farkas will be your shield sibling on this venture, Well, He'll answer any questions you have. Try not to disappoint, or to get him killed. Come to me with questions. I know our You still need to prove yourself, Welp. Wuthrad is a relic of Iskramor. Through that weapon, we trace our line straight to the first harbinger of mankind in this land. What fragments we have are displayed in honor. We always seek more. I'll take my leave then. I hope you've read it yourself. So I'm told. Let's see if you impress. Isgrimor was the hero who started the Companions. Wuthrad was his weapon. He came from the ancient homeland and killed all the elves. But not all of them, because some of them are still here. 
I want you to make sure you're honorable. If you are honorable and strong, then I can call you brother. A smart man came and told us about a blade piece. Skior thinks you should find it, and I'm supposed to watch you. Don't delay, shield brother. The latest recruit, right? Wait, is that right? 